We're starting a 24-hour news channel, and we want you. I'm going to do the thing that God put Ron Burgundy on this earth to do. Have salon quality hair and read the news. No, stop. Guys, you're finally here. The wait is over. So what is it like unleashing this baby that you've created onto the world? How are you feeling about it? Oh, much, much like unleashing a baby giving birth. <laughs> we're very tired. Okay. Uh, but we have a glow. Yes, we uh, do. You do a, have a glow. A, a lot of endorphins. Mm -hmm. Gained a lot of weight. We've lost a lot of, of blood. Okay. okay. Um, we've all been stitched up. We've all been stitched okay. up. Uh, we don't know what to do with the placenta, whether to throw it away or, or put it in a, a, a tea. Okay, awesome. Um, or a bag. And yeah. A, it's Christmas. It's Christmas. It is Christmas. So, you're yeah. horrifying. <laughs> Not quite horrifying me. Just yet. I see you're a fan of Irish soccer, are you? The biggest. The biggest fan yeah. ever, yeah? Yeah. What player who's your, do you follow who's your most? favorite? My favorite player? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Joe Rogers. <laughs> Did he get cut? Joe Rogers? Yeah. Do you mean Roy Keane? Roy Keane's a pretty good player. Well, Roy's uh, got to do some be uh, bench time now, right? Yeah. He's going to be managing. an assistant he's manager. Managing. Yeah, he's managing. He's yeah. assistant managing or managing? See, I don't know too much about sports, but I know that he's doing something to do with the managing the team. Okay? okay. <laughs> you know what I heard he's equipment doing? Equipment managing. I yeah. heard he's doing uh, payroll. But yeah, could be doing that. Yeah. Welcome to GNN, the Global News Network. Tell us about the new head honcho. Linda Jackson is a winner. Linda Jackson, how are you, my friend? This is Linda. Oh. Why did you decide to come to Ireland for this huge event? Uh, we we came to Ireland because, you know, it 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 literally is places like Ireland that we made a sequel. You know, the, the fans have been so great here and it I think Anchorman achieved kind of a cult status because of how popular it was yes, here absolutely. and in the UK and Australia and places like that that uh, whenever we'd kind of go on these junkets we'd, we'd kind of you know get these requests of are you ever gonna make a sequel and uh, and that was kind of had this snowball effect. That's Jack Lime. Look at him. He's a prince. He's not that great. What'd you say? He said you're not that great. Brick. It's been 10 years since the first film. Was there any moment where you really felt, okay, this is like a news team assemble moment? I think when we shot the first promo, yeah. we all got into our costumes for the first <coughs> time in years. And I think that was the moment we were, uh, knew we were back yeah. into it. Yeah. Do they fit? They fit. They fit. No way, yeah, did they? Yeah, well yeah, done, good. guys, because you are looking pretty good. You know, you're looking really well. You guys have been so busy in those 10 years. You know, you've been kind of, your careers skyrocketed, they're so big now. And um, was it nice to come back to these characters having honed your talents even more? It was really fun. Was it? Uh, yeah, it was, uh, in fact, Steve was just saying when we got together for the promo to shoot for the film, the script hadn't even been written at that point. It had just been kind of greenlit and announced and yeah. we all got together and shot that teaser that was online and it was, um, uh, it did feel really good getting into those costumes again and yeah. seeing these guys for me, but it was also weirdly, well, not weirdly, but um, a little uh, uh, emotional because Aww. it's. I think that we all enjoyed making the first one so much and, yeah. and enjoyed working with one another that the, the idea that it was actually happening again was really, really cool. It was like we were at a costume party. Too. Was it? Yeah, like, <laughs> look at you! <laughs> look at you! You're Ron Burgundy! So what, you're like quoting it looks film so back real. It looks, yeah, we were like fans of each other. Welcome to the 80s, baby. Is that your foot between my legs? No. It was my hand. But I have to ask you as well, like, I know that like a lot of it is improvised and stuff, and there's so much footage that in fact you were able to cut another film out of it. Is that right? There's like this vicious rumor going around that there is another film, but it's like different jokes because there's so many outtakes. Yes, Adam McKay, the director, uh, but you know, with all the improv that we did, he yeah. was able to recut an entire uh, same storyline, but all the jokes are, are switched out, so it's something like Will three, it see the light of day? 300 new jokes. It'll, um, I think it'll definitely be on DVD, for awesome. sure. Yeah. Awesome. Well, guys, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you for coming thank to you. Ireland. Thank, thank you. Great to be here. Great to be here. We just done went and brought it, and you can't handle it, little mama. No! No! Ron, no! Oh! oh! Mama, you babysit! Pull yourself together, man. Sound like a balloon. Yeah.